Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. So today we're going to talk a little bit about this rear arm and the hands, especially this rear hand right here. Um, I was doing a lesson, and I ended up just kind of going through a couple movements on my on my phone. And I want to break them down. This is an issue that I get a lot of uh, messages about, a lot of emails, a lot of YouTube comments about the rear arm, especially with young players, with the rear arm leading too much, the rear elbow getting out in front, the barrel dragging or losing the barrel, not being able to release the barrel, a lot of issues. I see this a lot with younger players. And so I want to talk about a couple of things. And I've made some videos in the past about this, but I want to make a quick video. Um, one thing before I go, this is obviously an exaggeration. I'm not holding a bat. I'm just holding my hand here. I'm going in slow motion. So like, this is meant just for a demonstration. Again, if I was holding a bat, the bat would be this way. But I want to show you something because I think this is interesting. What we talk about a lot is when, when you make this move where you're going to start to turn this top hand palm up and you're going to start to get the barrel turned, the feeling is that the hand beginning to turn palm up is what's going to allow the arm to work under. Right? So we talked about turning the triangle again. If you've seen our other videos, when my top hand starts to turn, palm up, the rear arm is going to work under. Okay. Now, what I see a lot of young kids do is when they go, their rear elbow or their rear arm falls in like this. And then the hand and the barrel get left behind. And the elbow continues to travel forward. And their elbow and arm lead the swing. And you may think, wow, that's, that's an awkward position. Like nobody gets in that position. Well, if you're watching this, you probably have a son or a daughter or maybe your coach that has a player that does this. This is a really, really common problem. And I've seen lead elbows, or excuse me, rear elbows, lead the swing, even past, almost past the body. It actually gets into a position where I'll look sometimes, you know, a player will come up, come into me and show me this, and I'll be like, how does that arm even get in that position? How is that physically possible? But it does. And the problem is when this elbow gets this far forward, the barrel gets left back here. And so there, the player is consistently late, their barrel's either stuck back here or it just drops straight down and they totally lose the barrel and they're underneath everything. They're late. They can't release the barrel. They can't hit the ball out front. Tons and tons of issues. Okay. Now, a, lo a lot of times players will do this and coaches will think it's a back shoulder problem. They'll be like, you got to keep your back shoulder up. You're dropping your back shoulder. And that won't help the issue because it's, it's this rear arm that's the issue. And so there's a couple of different things to think about with this. The first thing is a lot of players that do this will never get what I call pulled back. Well, they'll never get this rear arm in position the hip, and they'll never use their back muscles to help keep that arm back and not allow it to just kind of flop and just lead. And so... A pullback is when my elbow gets behind my hands and is working behind me towards my spine that way. And you can feel it when you take your elbow and you slightly move it back behind your body towards your spine. You'll feel your back working. And that feeling right there is going to keep this arm from wanting to just lead the swing and get here. So when I see players that have issues with this, they either never get pulled back. So they'll be right here when they go to swing. And, of course, if you're right here, just put your arm right there. You can't pull back. You can't use your back. And so what happens? The arm leads. All right? So to help correct that, I need to get pulled back this way. Elbow behind hands, pull it back. Act like somebody's behind you and you're going to kind of elbow them with your, with your elbow like you're going to set your hand back to throw a punch into a punching bag. 
you know, exaggerated, like you're going to start a, a lawnmower or a chainsaw or something. Now, it's, again, it's not that aggressive, but that little bit of feeling like my arm's working back this way. Pulling back because it feels kind of like you're pulling something a little bit, again, subtly. And so, again, if you once you lose that feeling, so right here, I've lost the feeling of pullback. I disengage. I let it go. And players that either don't pull back or let it go right when they're going to try to swing, that arm is going to lead. It's kind of weird. You know you have young kids when you say let it go and then you start singing Frozen. I just did that in my head. That's a, Then again, that's the only song I hear all day long at my house. Okay, now on this example, I'm trying to not let it go. I'm trying to stay pulled back as I start to turn my hand. And when that happens, my rear arm is going to work under, but it's not going to get ahead of my hand. And then from there, I can release the barrel. Now, again, this isn't going to be perfect because I don't have this arm working and I don't have a bat in my hand. But again, just an example of I want to show the lead arm or excuse me the rear arm and the rear hand. So the key is I've got to get pulled back right here. I'm pulled back. I feel it in my back and I I don't want to let go of that. I don't want to disengage and just let my arm flop forward. And then my rear arm's not going to get ahead of my hand. Now the other thing I'll talk about is because sometimes players can feel that pullback. They feel it, but then when they go to swing, they, they, they can't feel it anymore. They lose it. And so if you're telling them, hey, continue to pull back, hold on to that, and they can't feel it, another thing I talk about is, is trying to feel like the hand is going to do the turning and not the arm. Like those players, they feel a lot of arms Right, it's a lot of arms. I want to feel like I'm trying to take this arm out of it. And so I think one thing that does happen is in the swing, like we said, the rear arm is going to work under and the lead arm is going to work up. And sometimes people see that and they think, well, this player must be trying to jam that arm down by their side. Right, you've heard like slotting the elbow. Some people call it slotting the elbow or, you know, get the elbow down to the rib cage or get the elbow working down or whatever you want to say. And so the player says, okay, and they take their arm and then when it's time to go, they just jam it forward and they just go forward. Well, if you feel like you're just going to throw your arm forward, it's probably going to keep going like this and you're going to get into this position right here. So don't try to lead with the arm. If I have an, a player that's doing this, then I say take the arms out of it and feel the hands working. Make the hand turn. Make the hand turning, make the elbow go down. Not the elbow going down, make the hand turn. So just feel your hands. Pull back and just feel your hands working. And the rear elbow will come under. It will work under on its own without forcing it, without forcing it to go under like this and then you get in this really tough position right here now if you have other things that work let me know um, if you're a player that struggles with this or your coach or a parent that has a player or a son or a daughter that struggles let me know as well I do think it is a um, it does take some time to get a player out of this habit especially young players older players that do this sometimes it's a little bit easier Younger players can be a little bit more difficult. Um, and so I know it's not an easy thing to fix. But let me know if you have any issues with this, and I'll try to help you guys out. Thanks for watching again. I appreciate it. Comment in the section below. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video with all your friends, all that good stuff. And we will talk to you later.